Hi, I'm Jim Shields. I'm Fluke's Process Tools Product Manager here in Australia. Hey, I'd like to show you a calibration of a Fluke uh, with using the Fluke 754 to calibrate a Rosemount 3051 Heart Smart Pressure Transmitter. Let's give it a go. So we've got our connections here from the 754 milliamp measurement jacks to the power connections on the pressure transmitter. You can see I've got the output of my hand pump going to the input of the transmitter here. I've got a fluke pressure module connected to the 754. And now we're ready to go about the calibration. So first step, we will invoke heart. And the heart communication in the 754 will interrogate the configuration of this heart smart device for the calibration. So here we found the tag number of the transmitter, the PV, it's PVAO, and the range of the transmitter, most importantly, for the calibration test. So to configure the calibrator, press the heart button one more time, and we select measure milliamp source KPA. These selections are made available to us based on the information that the calibrator got from the transmitter when it did the heart communication handshake. So I select that. It looks for and it finds the pressure, uh, pressure module. I have this vented atmosphere and I'm going to press the clear button to make sure I've got a good zero in my pressure module. Looking good to go here. Let's select as found for an instrument. It, the test template's filled in everything except for the test tolerance. So I type in a test tolerance, 0.25%. And we're going to test 0 to 250 kPa, 3-point ascending. Done. And then manual test. Here's the pressure for me to apply. Well, that's the vented atmosphere, so accept that. Now I go to 125 kPa. Generating pressure with the pump. Okay, that's pretty close. I'll go ahead and accept that. Now it's now it's being requesting me to pump to 250 kPa. Pump that up. Okay, that's pretty close. I'm going to accept that. Now here's my post-test summary. Here's the pressure that I applied, and for this pressure, here's the milliamps that was being measured, and based on the correlation between the applied pressure and the measured milliamps, here's the error percent of span. This reverse video indication indicates that the found milliamp values exceeded the allowable tolerance, so this S-found test failed on this transmitter. We will need to perform the, the heart smart trim.